There are many ways to adjust the timing of animation in 3ds Max, and the simplest is to just use the timeline itself. I'll select the hilt of the sword, and you'll see that we have 5 seconds of time here, 150 frames, in which the sword moves from point A to point B. If we want to speed that up, the simplest way is to simply move these keyframes. I can click on this keyframe here at frame 150, and it's highlighted in white now, and I can just drag it down and move it to, let's say, frame 120, and now that'll just be 4 seconds. To make it even clearer, I'll move it, let's say, down to frame 30, which will only be 1 second. Rewind and play that back, and you can see it's moving way faster now. Or if I wanted the entire action to take place later, I could move both of these keys. I could drag a rectangle to select them both, and then click and drag to move them, so that for the first 60 frames of animation, nothing happens. I rewind, play the timeline, and the movement doesn't start until frame 60. All right, so what I want here actually is I want there to be four seconds of animation. I'll take this one back down to frame zero, and I'll put this one on frame 120, and that'll be four seconds of animation.